Here we go. This is your first step to the freedom that is going to allow you to live the rest of your life as the best of your life. Hi, my name is Christine L. Conroy. Welcome to Happy Stuff and Fluff, a channel for women who are getting happy, living longer and growing younger. And yes, I truly do believe that what we're talking about today is going to give you the freedom to be certain that the rest of your life is the best of your life because today we're talking about cognitive distortions. I know, how sexy is that? <sighs> uh, well, actually it is sexy because we can do something about them. Okay, so yes, we're talking about cognitive distortions. Now you may have heard these um, uh, described as thinking errors, as faulty thinking, as distorted thinking, as unhelpful thinking styles, and I particularly like that one, at least, uh, at least in comparison to cognitive distortions. I think unhelpful thinking styles is perhaps a good one. I like to call it stinking thinking. Stinking thinking, it trips off the tongue, it says what it says, does what it says on the tin. Um, but our official um, the psychological name for it is cognitive distortions, and so that's what we are going to stick with. So let's have um, the proper definition then of cognitive distortions. Have a look at this. Um, they are irrational, irrational being the key word. They are irrational thoughts that we unknowingly reinforce over time until they become beliefs and go on to negatively affect behaviour. They give us biased perspectives of ourselves, of others, and the world around us. Now, if you practice cognitive distortions too much, then it leads to mental illness and depression. You may not have mental illness and you may not be depressed, but mark my words, you will, you will embark on some of these cognitive distortions in your thinking and you will have some unhelpful thinking styles. Now, the problem is, even if you only have a few, um, you know, at least they can make you unhappy, they can make you miserable, they can make those around you miserable, they can certainly prevent you from being um, as happy as you should be, and certainly prevent you from living your best life. So that's really um, what I wanted, why I wanted us to talk about this. So what we're going to be doing is thinking about our thinking or you're going to be thinking about your thinking and the sexy term for that is uh, metacognition. That's what we call that. We call thinking about thinking metacognition. So you're going to be doing a little bit of metacognition. Um, now why are we doing it? Um, why, why should you be bothered thinking about thinking? You know, you've been thinking all your life and that's the problem. Nobody teaches us how to think properly. Um, nobody teaches us how to think properly, which is such a shame because going way back to the Buddha, he said, we are shaped by our thoughts. We become what we think. James Allen said, as a man thinketh, so is he. You may have heard that one. I believe he was influenced by a passage in the Bible to come up with that. Earl Nightingale, um, said to be the father of one of the fathers of the personal development world, he says, we become what we think about most of the time and that is the strangest secret. We become what we think about most of the time and that is the strangest secret. I like this, it's simple. It's from one of the Stoic philosophers, one of my favorites, Marcus Aurelius, and he says this, our life is what our thoughts make it. Simple as that. Your life is what your thoughts make it. So your life right now is what your thoughts have made it and are making it. Just let that settle in with you and realise the 
power, the power of that. Your life is what your thoughts make it. Now, if you have any unhelpful uh, thinking styles or any cognitive distortions, then there's a good chance that's what's made you not able to live your best life. Okay, that's what's, um, that's what's stopping you from living your best life. Now, I always talk about and believe 100% that the first step to positive change is self-awareness. And that's what this video is about. It's about opening you up to... Um, it's about opening you up to the idea of thinking about thinking. And, you know, I've said this before too, whenever I've been speaking to a group and I ask, what's the opposite of positive thinking? Uh, sorry, what's the... Oh, I'm giving you the answer. What's the opposite of negative thinking? Then invariably people shout out positive thinking. Well, Martin Seligman, who's the American psychologist and the fa one of the founding fathers of positive psychology, has this to say about it. He says the healthy option to negative thinking is not positive thinking, but critical thinking. It's critical thinking, and that's what we're getting down to doing here. We're thinking about our thinking, um, we're going to become aware of it, and then we're going to get critical and analyse our thinking. It's going to be fun. You're going to be you're going to be delighted to know that some of these thinking styles that you may have can be changed. So let's have a look at some of them. What I want you to do is put in the comments box down below which one of these you think is one of your unhelpful thinking styles. Some of these you may not understand. I'm not going to go into them today. I'm going to go, we're going to cover each one of them in turn um, to go into more detail into them and so that I can uh, show you things that you can do, exercises to do that will help you break the pattern of unhelpful thinking styles. I just want to shout some of these out to you and if any of them resonate with you, jot them down in the comments box down below. Okay, here we go. Have a look at this. So, ruminating. Have you ever ruminated over something, turned something over and over again? C catastrophizing. Do you do that? Do you use black and white thinking? Labeling? Filtering? Personalization, shudding, mind reading, generalizing, and emotional reasoning. I'll leave them up there for a second. Just have a look through those and see if any of them resonate with you at all. Are you thinking, oh yes, I always do that. Oh yes, I'm guilty of that. Let's not use the word guilty. We all do these things to one extent or another. Uh, but as I said, it's if they become out of control that they can lead down the uh, spiral to mental illness. Uh, and so what we want to do by the end of this series is make sure this lady here has a completely clear head, is clear thinking, is rationally thinking and is able to walk into that freedom that's going to lead her to her best life and you to yours. Watch this video next because I go into a, a little bit more into stinking thinking. No judgment in terms of the production on this film, please. It was a few years ago. I think the camera must have been up there, but the content is still uh, valuable to you. So watch this video next and um, next time we'll start taking these apart, unpacking them and um, I can show you some exercises that will help you to break the habit. And I'll see you next time. And until then, remember that on the happy stuff and fluff, we are getting happy, living longer and growing younger. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.